What's up guys, music fan here, how you guys doing? Uh, here for a quick song review of the new Coplay track, Midnight, uh, was released on YouTube with virtually little, little to no warning at all. Um, last night, well not last night, the last night, the previous last night before, <laughs> before yesterday, the last night. Um, more specifically, it was released around Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday at midnight, um, and the reaction, the reaction to this track has been probably the most divisive ever in any fan base, uh, particularly since my Lozato, the band's last album, is very was a very experimental album. It, it like had them charting in more electronic uh, pop electro territory. Uh, with this new song, uh, Midnight, it's probably like f way, in comparison with Milo, way, way, way more experimental than, than Milo Xyloto. For one, there's absolutely no band presence in this song at all. It's completely uh, slow, electronic, uh, electro feel. There's like, it's, it's very slow going. Um, the, really, the only instruments that are present is is uh, Martin's piano, very delicate piano playing. Um, maybe if I'm hearing right, if I'm hearing correctly, maybe guy guys uh, bass playing also. Like maybe I could be wrong. Um, and Chris Martin's um, vocal, which is distorted by a, a vocal distorting device. Uh, I forget the name of that, but. Uh, um, it's it doesn't sound auto tuned, but still, this tr this track just completely disassociates Coplay from any of their earlier stuff, like especially Milo Xyloto, ironically enough. And and uh, I've said this a couple of times already in the like ever since yesterday, but I first caught the track um, yes yesterday afternoon. Um, and of course, like like many of you guys, especially if you're if you're a Coldplay fan, um, first time you heard it, you're kind of like, "This is Coldplay, like really?" <laughs> you know that it's 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 such a it's such a complete and, and I mean a complete detached deviation from from their entire previous catalog, uh, especially Milo. Ironically enough, since uh, since Milo Xyloto was it was a very experimental album but this song the song's atmosphere is just very quiet it's very chilled no presence of any rock band whatsoever um and completely disassociating with coplay's uh brand of rock music which really when you think about it is is like the first the very first thing you ever think about when you think of coplay you think of rock guitars you think of songs like the hits yellow in my place um fix you um paradise viva la vida uh you think of those hits you, you think of coplay as being an, an alternative rock band even an experimental alternative rock band but here they're really channeling their their inner radiohead via kid a and and uh, amnesiac in, in a little bit and I mean, you had Coplay borrowing very heavily from Radiohead before, but but this is the, the very first time that we kind of hear hear Coplay just really dabble into that influence, like really dabble into Kid A influence Radiohead, which is very insane because Kid A is is one of personally one of my favorite albums ever of all time, and it's just so chilling the, the song this song's atmosphere is just so chilling it's very haunting and it's the, like especially when you when you take this whole the whole electronic synthesized but very um dark atmosphere into account um and chris martin's vocal is just completely not only is it distorted by the um electronic um a uh, vocal device or whatever you, I forget the name of that again sorry but his vocal here 
is so understated except for that one one part where his his voice peaks at the height just creating this very eerie feeling like this very eerie feeling of calmness of 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 uh of of sterileness is just very it, it, it's such a mixed bag with this song and like especially for a band as as internationally big and famous like Coldplay um, again you associate with their hits and whatever but if if you're a new Coldplay fan and you're listening to this song and you never ever ever heard of Coldplay before ever to which I don't know why um, then and you hear this song for the very first time you would and and then you listen to their to their back catalog you would not think that they're the very same band and and of course so, some some have and some will crit, will criticize this song and they have of saying this sounds more like a Chris Martin solo track or and um but really this song delves itself into a ve- almost entirely different aesthetic than their past work and in all honesty I cannot decipher the lyrics at all um, Chris Martin's um, vocal effect kind of dampers that out a little a little bit so I can't say much for the lyrics but um, in all honesty I'm just in, immensely perplexed I'm just very um, yeah I <laughs> I, I don't know what to think of this song. Like I, I don't necessarily love it, but at the same time, I don't necessarily despise it either. Like it's this is a song that, especially for a band like Coldplay, um, finds itself with me a very kind of like middle of the road. And this is not to say that that that's a bad thing. Uh, I think the greatest of all pieces of art, whether that be painting or music or whatever. It, the best of them really perplexes an audience. It, it brings them to, to a state of confusion and just kind of think like, what is this? Um, but in a way that, that, that really works to the artist's favor because it gets, it gets, it gets people talking, it gets people thinking and, and, and uh, in ways that they never had before with an artist. Um, <clears throat> now, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I don't know what else to say of, of this song. Like, I mean, it's the, the song is either this, this, this is this is clearly paving a new way for for Coldplay. This is paving a way of of challenging their audience and even the general public in ways that they ha- that they never had before. And and they've done some challenging stuff ever since Viva La Vida, um, the album. They've they really distanced distance themselves from that post Britpop era of guitar, um, Radiohead influenced rock, and do, they they don't they, they don't seem like they want to go back anytime soon. Especially, my curiosity was piqued after listening to Milo Zylato for the very first time. I was then kind of like left wondering, well, what is there left for them to do? And then this song comes out, and it's like, oh. That's new. <laughs> it's shocking, but it's also very surprising. Um, I never thought a band would go this direction, but considering their influence in Radiohead is also at the same time not that big of a surprise. And another thing I want to point out is that there's been a lot of comparisons of influence with this song from uh, bands and artists like um, Bon Iver, uh, John Hopkins. Um, the, the Kid A Radiohead influence is, is, is simply apparent in this song um, but uh, also in Mogan Heap as well and I'm hearing a lot of a lot of commentators and a lot of people uh, compare this song to that some of them are calling like oh it sounds like those exact things those exact artists it's pretty cool I'm also hearing other people saying like oh it just sucks they're just copying they're just ripping off of those type of artists those type of groups uh, you know but however, my my overall take on that is that I don't see their 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 borrowing of other artists' influence as different as they as they borrowed from artists in the past, and especially in their past work. They 
the the biggest the two of the biggest bands that I think they've they've borrowed very heavily by is Radiohead and U2, and I think ever ever since this song's release, they've really pushed away that U2 influence and have really gone far deeper into that um, Radiohead Kid A aesthetic, and and yeah I. In in all honesty, I, I really I really cannot offer this song a rating, like because I haven't decided for myself for and and I've been thinking quite a quite a lot about it since I first heard it yesterday. I just can't decide whether I really love it or whether I really hate it. This song has really has really perplexed me in in ways that that I haven't been perplexed by a song or by an artist's direction since since I've heard Kanye West's Love Lockdown from 808's and Heartbreak. I haven't been this surprised ever since then and this song like for the first time in years has kind of really puzzled me. However, that being said, um this is this this is a new bold direction that Coldplay is taking, and and of course some people will say what they want, and uh, they have the right to their opinions to say if they if Coldplay has copied or has ripped off bands and and all that stuff, you know. But <coughs> um, this is a direction that is like way even way more than Milo Zalto <coughs> is really taking us in a, in a very deeper in a much more atmospheric and a much more way more challenging than even Milo Xyloto. <clears throat> Man, my voice is off today. So yeah, I'll I really can't decide on the rating guys. I'm um but I guess for now um no no, I I really, I really can't put a rating on this song. Like I mean, I I think for the for the first time on this channel, I'm gonna have to give this song a gigantic question mark because I really, I really can't decide. I'm. I really can't decide on on how to rank this song because this song is just so starkingly different, and. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me again. Um, so yeah, I mean, for I mean, for now at least, for now it's probably going to be a question mark because I just cannot decide on a rating. But in the future, like in the future, when I when I familiarize, well, when I think time will tell. Time is going to tell the ultimate. Um, factor in how the song will play out with the general public, especially Coldplay fans. And it will tell whether this song will 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 sustain itself throughout the throughout the remainder of, of the time as Coldplay expands their horizons even further and it will tell whether this song was a worthwhile experiment or if this is an entrance to a a very turbulent time for the band. Um but for now, I'll have to give it a very big, gigantic question mark because I personally cannot decide whether I want to rate this song as bad or whether I want to rate this song as their most engaging effort ever, which goes to, shows without, goes to show without saying. Um, <clears throat> it, but um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm that perplexed to the point I really cannot give it this song a rating. So... Um, I mean, you heard me ramble on for, for for fifteen minutes. So, I mean, I'm, check out the video yourselves down below on the description box. Um, leave me your thoughts. Leave me your impressions um, on on the new Coldplay song. Is it is does does this song indicate a, a direction that could revolutionize and revitalize um, music? as we know it or is this an entry into something that will be 
in complete detriment to the band. Um, what I mean, what are your thoughts essentially? Um, do you love this song? Do you hate this song? Why or why not? Um, I, I've really got to know your thoughts because this song has really got everyone talking about right about now. So, um, and uh, I want to leave you with one last note that I that I know. Um, I was reading an interview by uh, Radiohead frontman um, Tom York, and the interviewer was commenting on how influential Radiohead was in the mid to late late nineties with the bands in OK Computer and how they have influenced a lot of guitar rock bands to become more alternative at that period. To which Tom, Tom York responded to those bands, well, good luck with Kid A. And it's ironic considering that I think with this song, Coplay is seeming to kind of really step up to that mantle. They're really kind of like daring and, and willing to kind of to kind of rise up to that challenge of which band or which artist can, can make the most the most closest representation to the challenge and to the 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 standard that an album like Radiohead's Kid A, as revolutionary as it is, um, who can take on that standard? Who can rise up above that standard? And I think this is Coplay's um, saying that we're more than willing to step up to the challenge, and it in time will tell. Um, it has to be, remain to be seen whether Coplay will meet that challenge or will they fall over um, in that challenge. Anyway, comments down below. Tell me what you think of this new song. Um, I'm very interested in seeing where the band takes us this time and I wait with perplexity but also curiosity and interest. So this has been my review. Coplay, Midnight, tell me what you think. Please let me know your thoughts down below. I really want to hear what you guys think. And this has been a review. Uh, Mr. Music Fan, Coplay, Midnight. See you guys later. Take care.